I wear a headband almost every day and this is the only one I can find right now. This isn't going to work. Well, happy Monday. I know I usually um, start my weekly videos uh, like half naked or in a bikini or something, but I woke up today and had no idea what day it was. I just went on with my life like it was a Sunday and then I was like, I gotta get ready for the gym. And then I realized, uh, yeah, it's not Sunday, it's Monday. So long story short, I had already had my coffee and my breakfast, well, my pre-workout breakfast, whatever. So I'm not gonna weigh in today. That's it, that's where we're at. Uh, since I weighed in last Wednesday, I'm just gonna weigh in this Wednesday. That way it'll keep it a consistent week. And um, I'm just gonna switch all my weigh-ins until Wednesday now, except for the last one, which will probably be on a Saturday, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it on week eight. For now, I'm going to finish my pool day and um, I'll catch up with you guys later. But yeah, no way in this Monday. We'll do it Wednesday. It'll be fine. All right, I gotta go get jacked. So this might be an epic failure on my part. I have never um, done back extensions with a 45 pound plate. I usually do, I started with 25, worked way up to, way up to 35, now I'm on my last set, so I'm gonna try 45. And I'm gonna try to just picture my girl Kenzie Vance the whole time. If you don't follow her, look up Kenzie Vance. She's my favorite like female bodybuilder. And um, we'll see if my little stupid pea brain as she says, can hang in there with my body and not give up before my body because this is gonna be rough. Also, I know I've reported it before. Um, before my surgery, I used to hold the plate back here. I can't do that anymore, it's just not comfortable. So also still trying to get used to holding the plate in front of myself. Let's go. <laughs> oh shit, okay. It's only 10 pounds difference, only 10. How do I grip this bitch? It's so cumbersome. Okay. I know. I'm a little baby back biatch. I know. I'm going to start with the 45s next pull day what is this day pull day ha! happy tuesday hamstring and glute day and then tomorrow is the first day of school for my big boys and luckily it's just a rest day because i'm probably gonna be a little emotional i don't know why we're not gonna be emotional today today we just trying to get a bigger butt that's <laughs> that's mostly all i ever want to do in this life is to grow the dump truck. But yeah, I am about to stretch it out, get going on my hip thrust. I'm going to try to progress my weight on that today. Before I got my surgery, I was hip thrusting 255 pounds. Now I think I'm hip thrusting like 215. It's been really hard to work my strength back up. Um, it's not because of my legs. It's actually getting my body up on the bench. Um, it uses a lot of muscles that I guess aren't um, built back up yet to get my body heaved up on to the bench in the first place. Depending on how all that goes and me lifting, I might record some of it. I usually record something out of every workout that I'm doing, um, if nothing else, to check my form later. So we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna get to it. All right, I looked it up. I've been hip thrusting 220, so this is just 225. I'm already warmed up. This should be fine. Lightweight, lightweight, lightweight. Mm -hmm. Come on, you stupid bitch.
By the time I get under this bar, it's like a whole other two minutes that it takes me to contemplate my life and convince myself that I'm not going to die. Alright, 255. Hey besties. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to 255. Hmm. Hopefully this is even the slightest bit interesting, but I'm gonna go for 255 and I'm going to hopefully show what um like going to failure is. Because I'm I'm gonna try to go to failure. Wish me luck. Oh my god. Sadly, that's what failure was for me. I think that was my fifth rep. I kind of lost track. But hopefully you can see that I was, I was trying. My body was willing it, but it just gave out. And that's okay. I am so proud of myself for getting back up to 255, even if it was three to four reps, whatever I did. Um, I'll have to watch back and hopefully my form wasn't shit. I don't know, but I got the weight up. Small victory. All right, I'm gonna finish my workout. Lord Jesus, I know that did not look like much, but oh my God, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to walk tomorrow. That's what it is. Um, I usually do those kickbacks with 35 pounds, but I really need to focus on progressive load overload, adding weight. So I added five pounds and I wanna die now, so. You know what, just keeping it real, as I'm sitting here thinking about it, I haven't done these exercises in two weeks because I was on vacation and then we got back like, you know, one in the morning on this night so I'm adding weight and I'm kind of sucking at it but it's been two weeks so perspective I'm crushing it it's fine got to do some uh, lying leg curls next and maybe I'll add five pounds to that too on my last set we'll see I was doing the lying leg curls at 45 pounds I had recently upped it to 50 pounds now this is my last um, set and I'm going to try what did I add to this 45 Five more pounds, so I'm trying 55 pounds, which sounds so bitch, but I know it's not. We all start somewhere, and hopefully one day it'll be 100 pounds. I don't know. Let's go. Sorry, that was too uncomfortable. Now I know I look more ridiculous. Let me try to finish my thought real quick. Um, this is not the best piece of equipment, but it was pretty inexpensive, and it gets the job done. Because I'm only five feet tall, this is really made for someone taller. Uh... It's all right, it's all right. We work with what we got, let's go. I got seven reps, I'll take it. All right, my last set of exercises are Romanian deadlifts. Uh, I'm doing reps of 115 right now. I'm gonna see if I can, again, slowly add five pounds each set and we'll see, we'll see how far we get. I'm all for training till failure. I know that's the only way you grow. Um, but when I start to feel my form really start to go out the window, that's when you know, okay, 
pump the brakes or you're gonna hurt yourself. So I think I did okay. I'll have to watch my form back and see when it really started declining, but got the weight up. Hey guys, I'm back in my uniform. It's Wednesday, I'm about to weigh in. I'm not expecting much, if anything. I think I was down like four pounds last weigh in, which was crazy. So uh, let, let's just look, let's just find out. Alrighty then, 145.3. Okay, so I was 145.7 last weigh in, 145.3, yeah. So I lost a couple ounces, whatever. I Again, I wasn't feeling any leaner. Uh, and I pretty much expected that. I'm surprised I even lost anything, to be honest, but that's all right. Let's do a body check, and then I'm going to get my weekly pictures, and then I'm going to go hop on the treadmill. Went too fast. All right, we checked out my body, got my pictures. I got to go hit the treadmill. Happy Friday. Yesterday was Thursday, my glute day. I had a great workout. Again, I'm really focusing on progressive overload this week. Now I am doing my push day and also am going to be focusing on progressive overload. Anyway, I'm so bad at terminology. I think what I do starting, I think it's a clean and jerk. Maybe I used to dabble in CrossFit. Um, I only got to do it for a few months though before I got pregnant with my third and then COVID happened and here we are. So. Um, but it's something that I used to do in the gym a lot, at least, but, um, if it is a clean and jerk, cool. If it's not, sorry, I don't know the terminology, but I grab the bar, blue, 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 shoulder, press it up. Um, I'm going to start adding weight to that today. I only do the bar so far. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how much weight we can get to. Like I said, I usually do 45. This is just 55. So only 10 pounds more. Oh, that's so heavy. Why? Okay, well, I tried. Going back down to 45. So, so humbled. So even though that was a total failure on my part, um, I'm keeping it in the video and I could easily edit it out. But hopefully when I look back on these videos six months, I'll be like, holy shit, remember when 55 pounds was hard to press over your shoulders? Yeah. <laughs> Quick Saturday check-in, quad day. I'm about to attempt 120 in squats. Um, last week I got up to 115, four sets, or yeah, four reps at 115, so. Okay. It's only five pounds more. Five shitty reps, I'll take it. Okay, so I'm about to do my last set of Bulgarian split squats, which I had been doing, I progressed to the bar like a couple weeks ago from dumbbells. Um, and I just got up to six reps at 60 pounds. So now I'm going to try 65 pounds. Again, hopefully shooting for six reps, knock on wood, but I don't know if I can do this weight. Let's go. cleanest form a little wobbly but we did it about to also keep increasing weight on my leg extensions I normally am sitting at 105 on here um, I've done 110 now I'm about to attempt 115 so very slow progression because five pounds doesn't seem like a lot but sometimes it's a lot
12 reps. I had such an amazing workout today. I hit some new PRs and I felt like I could have even added more weight, so that's awesome. Next week should be even better. Obviously this week I was focusing a lot on progressive overload. I'm always trying to just get stronger, so any weight I can add is a bonus, and I did that a lot this week, so I'm just gonna keep pushing it into next week. Um, full transparency, I'm only at like 6,000 steps for the day. I think it's about four o'clock. I went to a memorial today for an old friend and coworker, and the memorial wasn't like one of those sad things itself. I've cried a lot about her passing. I didn't cry there. I cried in the car though immediately after I left and I cried when I got home and I think it's okay to just feel these things and not feel like I have to get on the treadmill right now because life's too short, man. So yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of this weekend hanging out with my family and playing with my kids and I think that is a great way to honor my friend. Sorry. Um, so I'll catch up with you guys next week, but I love you. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you next week.